man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's who we first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 210 pounds. Fighting out of Osaka, Japan. Presenting the challenger, the curse. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Do Ho Choi. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one, and on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter, yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, first words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me. I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and you laugh just like that because you know how much of a joke this is. You wanna avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has bravado. I know he has a big ego, but it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to break the fight into a closer distance. Oh, big punch land. DC 
see it didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just out of range with that right hook. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictated the fight with a jab. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Choi's shot is blocked. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Choi gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Misses with the right hand. Nice kick. your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there, as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Big ball punch lands, now he gets back to range. Right hand punch to the clinch. And they separate. That was a thudding leg kick. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Still nice body kick lane. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice punch there by Choi. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he has certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Lands with the right hand. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Choi. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. Keep it busy, doing great work. Choi gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and 
at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Punch over the top. Big right hand. Straight right hand now. Just a shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off uh -huh. with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Nice punch, man. You got to check these low leg kicks. Unable to connect this. Three minutes and change to go in round two. I mean, this guy is really full. Oh, nice grab by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Watch the shot. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace on uptick in the aggression and the output and starting to oh, find his knee. range here in the fight. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Down attempt without issue. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right hand punch to the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Just misses with the straight right. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, single collar tie now. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Ooh, head kick landed. He's hurt. Oh, diving punch lands. Go down the Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, and he tags it with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Choi. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Fifteen seconds. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nice combination of strikes there by the crowd. 
dream Super Bowl. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. What a punch. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display oh, of strikes. Oh, huge elbow! Hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Again, in the clinch. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in the Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And now he's got that tie clinch. Right hand punch to the clinch. Straight right, he misses. He lands a big knee to the body. Oh! Oh! oh yes, I see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough one. Even Young's feet right now. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active. And he connects with the punch. Just misses there with the left. Nice defense there, huge block. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These guys hurt really bad. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice strike. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. It's beautiful leg kick throw. Keep it busy here on the clinch. Now connects with a right. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Just out of range. Head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. There. Choi's kick is blocked. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. The Korean Superboy going for the leg kick. He misses. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He is getting lit up right now, John. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Nice punch there. Just missed with the left there. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting them. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. Oh! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. 45 seconds remain in the round. 
All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. And he landed the right hand there. Close guard. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Ooh, what a punch. Checks the leg kick. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into his opponent's thighs. Beating his leg up. Oh, he got a real good, too. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire for the fight. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. How about that chin? Wow! Oh, as effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, it truly makes nothing target. Sight to behold. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target. Oh! Great fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Nice stupid punch. Powerful leg kick lands. And they separate. Misses with that punch. Oh, and he lands yet another flush. Whoa! He's out! He's done, he's done! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush. And the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 14 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super So the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel's getting pretty crowded. Crazy to think this guy is just getting started. Maybe